It all began in 1925 with electricity making its way into many homes. While people were learning how to throw parties fueled by the jazz sounds of the Great Gatsby era, a young engineer named Sven Olufsen was hatching a plan to start a little radio business at his family's residency, Kristrup, outside the town of Struer in Denmark. Lucky for Sven, his study buddy, Peter Bang, had just returned from the US. The two met in Struer and hit it off immediately, taking the first steps in becoming Bang and all of them. It's 1926 and the golden age of radio had just begun. A novel experience that brought families and friends together in front of a new revolutionary device. There was only one problem. Radios were heavy, extremely heavy, due to the weight of the batteries powering the radio. A single battery could weigh anything between two to four kilograms. At the time, batteries were also unreliable, often randomly discharging at the peak of a radio program. Frustrated with the state of battery technology, the duo recognised an opportunity with a project that Peter began in 1923, before teaming up with Sven. And so, Bang & Olufsen reinvents the radio. Enter the Eliminator. An elegant machine with a grandiose name for eliminating the need for batteries to power a radio. For the first time, a radio could be directly plugged into the main through the Eliminator, pioneering the future of home radios. But their success was soon followed by a menace. The one company that revolutionised dry cell batteries was also based in Denmark. Feeling its sales threatened by Bang & Olufsen's Eliminator, they launched a fierce campaign against the dangers of operating a radio on electricity. You wouldn't willingly put yourself into an electric chair. Have they considered the dangers of electric current? Safety first. Only use radio batteries. Answering their call to arms, the two entrepreneurs responded. Humiliation. That feeling that evening your radio breaks down in front of your guests. The fault lies in the battery. Get yourself a B&O Eliminator. Time and technology marched hand in hand in their favour and after a cheeky exchange with the battery industry, their strategy paid off. And in 1927, Bang & Olufsen became the biggest producer of Eliminators in Scandinavia. With a growing demand for eliminators, the duo settled into their first factory and paved themselves a way forward to start a global audio revolution that would later transform Bang & Olufsen into an international design icon and long-standing hi-fi veteran. Today, almost a century later, Bang & Olufsen is still expanding the boundaries of what's possible in the world of sound, design and luxury. All the way from the eliminator to the BA Lab 90, the products have always been at the forefront of innovation, blending technology, craftsmanship and artistry, and will continue to do so for generations to come, inspiring those who, like Peter and Sven, simply do not accept things the way they are. Because sometimes, all it takes is a little frustration with the status quo and a lot of determination to change the world.